Okay, here we are at the Irons Men Fellowship. Eggs are ready. The grits. My specialty. Mm, once I stir them up again, them boys are going to be awesome. And then bootlegging Pastor Chris brought in weenies. I can't understand this for breakfast. I don't know. What, he didn't get the memo. But uh, I guess grits and weenies go together. <laughs> and then I've got the secret ingredient right here. Uh, Bojangles. Ooh. Here we go. Oh, no. Cayman oh, no. Islands. Oh, no. Is this where the church money's going? This is kind of odd coming from the man that teaches about tithing. He's got a Cayman Island account. It's hidden. It's, it's hidden. hidden funds. Mm -hmm. While we sit here and eat biscuits and we gravy. think, Mr. Cook. I love it. Biscuits and eggs and gravy after some barbecue at 11 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> we got combinations going on today, bro. Combinations. The eggs were perfect. The gravy was perfect. Say again, Scotty. Yeah. But the eggs were perfect. The, the, the sausage is perfect. I'm still working on that. But the gravy and everything, it was perfect, man. Thank the you. The grits were perfect. It thank was, you. Was, Just was say like, thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> God bless you, Mike, and your family. Be blessed. Long live long and prosper. I like that in honor of Spock. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Mr. Shook? Good stuff. Good stuff? Good stuff. Eddie? You could have bought us a couple of steaks. Today, I came up on Hebrews 13, 6. It says, So that we confidently say, The Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. What, what will man do to me? You know, knowing that you know, God's not going to let anything, if God brings you to it, He's going to bring you through it. Uh, That's a good saying. Uh, another one, Psalm 138.3. This is, a, I, I love this, it, you know, and it, and it brings up, you know, that all you have to do is call out to Jesus. You know, back to Peter, you know, all he had to say was, Lord, save me, and Jesus was there. The Psalm 138.3 says, when I called and you answered me, you made me bold and stout-hearted. You know, and you know we have that faith and grace to any time we do need God. We just, you all we do have to do is ask. You know, uh, Pastor Timothy preaches on this a lot. That you know, uh, you don't have to know how to pray. Uh, you know, you do these, you hear these pastors on TV and stuff. They you spend hours praying and stuff. When all you have to do is just give it, just talk to God. You know, uh, you know, but uh, like Ashton preaches a said the shortest the shortest prayer in the Bible, help. You know, and, and that that's the biggest thing I think a lot of people get caught up in religion is they get into theology and everything. I, I really don't think it's going to be that hard. I think you can have the boldness to. You know, step up and say, you know, this is what my God says, and this is what I believe. You know, I don't know. <laughs> Good Lord had a plan. My father-in-law, Phil, which I'm still trying to drag into the men's group. Uh, uh, he had to work today. Uh, uh, you know, we went to his house for dinner one night. It was a Wednesday night, and I had I'd worked all day on cars and stuff. I was greasy, dirty, had my rags on. He said. And I said, if I was dressed better, I'd go to church with you tonight. He said, it's not a question. You're going. <laughs> and he drove us to here to Horizon. Yeah. And I mean, he wouldn't, even let, he wouldn't even let me drive. He said, no, because you won't show up. He said, get in my car. We're going to church. And that's the story. <laughs> you know, we're here. And, uh, you know, I just, I'm thankful for that, you know. And who's to say? That, let's say I call Pastor Chris. Hey, Pastor Chris, I've had a bad day, man. I need to encourage your word. <clears throat> Who's not to say that my struggle might be some words that he needed to hear to get through his struggle? Right. Mm -hmm. And right. that, that happened yesterday because I called yeah. Chris yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. You know, hey, you know, fairly good day. And he said, how's it been going? I said, well, I just broke the strut off my, my truck. Oh. And the next thing he said is, my transmission just went out. Right. Dude, I'm not having that bad of a day. Exactly, <laughs> brother. That's I, it. I'm still right. See? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I like to see this group do. And things like that, you know. Well, the other thing I like about this group is, is that, you know, a lot of groups get together and they talk and talk about We're such an important 
I feel like we're an imperfect group. Just a whole hodgepodge of different styles. Right. You know, where we're at and everything. But we come together as one. You know, you throw us up against the wall, we're gonna sit there. Mm -hmm. You know, and listening to everybody and uh, some people have a great amount of faith. I have this thing that uh, Pastor Chris made, and I carry it with me everywhere I go. And one of them is, you, Father, have dealt with every man the measure of faith. Everybody has a certain amount of faith. Faith is a wonderful thing. Faith in God can move a mountain mountain. Faith in God can make a desert like a fountain. And it can also bring the victory. But the thing that makes us so shaken is how do we stand with our faith? How do we keep a strong faith? How strong is your faith when you're under adversity? How strong is it? Everybody's happy and wonderful. Our faith is great when they're winning. When everything's going great in church, the pastor's got new people coming every Sunday morning. The offerings are good. Everybody's happy. He's winning. His faith is strong. The members' faiths are strong. But let a few Sundays go by that you don't have anybody. Someone starts a, a rumor saying somebody does something just plain stupid mm -hmm. to, call, to cause a problem. Then things aren't, everybody's not winning. Then your faith begins to drop down like a thermometer in cold weather. I can't control the uh, sun. Can't control the rain. Can't control the winter and summer and spring. But I can control my attitude of faith. I can control that. I can wake up every morning. I can look myself in the mirror and I can either tell myself I'm going to have a great day no matter what I know I've got to face or I can just say Lord I'm in for a terrible terrible day you know what's going to happen? I'm going to have a terrible terrible day 